envolvida em jiu-jitsu, porque manhã todos os dias assim, a parte da tudo, que mistura tudo isso, né? Que é o jiu-jitsu, é o maitai. E aí à tarde eu falei, eu falei a natação, a musculação, e à noite também eu falei no maitai e jiu-jitsu. Entendi. Every morning shoot box, academy, they have the shoot box, famous uh, morning sessions where all the pros train. And uh, the top guys are over there. This is always uh, valid to do his martial arts oriented. Uh, the train training is always the same. So he feels that uh, uh, if you gotta train both like Muay Thai and Jiu Jitsu because if the guy is good at Muay Thai, you gotta train Muay Thai, but you gotta train Jiu Jitsu also so you can uh, uh, take advantage on his weaknesses and the vice versa. The same goes the other way. So the training is basically the same, it doesn't change that much. So it's really a, an adaptive, adaptable schedule. I think it's important to start with a strong base in Muay Thai or Jiu Jitsu, then move on to another art, or train them both equally from the beginning. Se a pessoa tem tempo, acho que sim. Se a pessoa não tem tempo, acho que tem que optar por uma coisa para pegar bem e depois a outra, né? Não acho que. Okay, Shogun feels that uh, if uh, someone has time and of time to dedicate himself only to one, uh, uh, to I mean to both disciplines or whatever, how many disciplines he wants, like. Jiu-Jitsu, Muay Thai, wrestling, or whatever, then he should. But it takes time, so you can do it in the right way. If the person doesn't have that time, it's better for him to stick to one uh, martial art first, to pick one, get good at it, and then he can transition and get other stuff going on also. The shoe box, uh, the open academy, or you gotta prove yourself to go into the academy? The shoe box, I'm not gonna get the app, because you go to the last. Uh, anyone can be a student of shoot box, it's just a matter of going there and training. Thank you. 
of uh, experience. And do you think the master put the border? This is like uh, uh, the saint that uh, in Brazil most people are Catholics, you know, so this is like the saint that uh, protects him, that he believes. And this here is a samurai because his nickname is Shogun. did most of his tattoos when he was uh, very young, <laughs> 14 years old, so he didn't have money to go to a good tattoo artist, <laughs> <laughs> but he didn't have much meaning, but he has a, a, a good one on the back here which says Murillo Ninja in Japanese, this was after he was already a prize fighter, but those are not worth <laughs> <laughs> Using the, the, their status as fighters to launch into a different uh, different areas of money making. Okay. okay, so uh, Shogun said that uh, he enjoys fighting that much, so at first what he thinks is to fight, 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 train, 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 and fight, fight, fight. And uh, as Ninja said, and Shogun also said, uh, and believes, uh, they can pursue other things, like they have plans for uh, opening a training camp in Brazil soon, and also to have uh, DVD instructional, instructional DVDs, as we are already in negotiations, and to have more seminars and all that stuff, so they hope to progress with five years of their lives, and it's important to uh, stay in this business, and as Shogun said, he's fortunate to be able to do what he likes to earn his living, you know? And right now, we want everybody to move into the other direction because of the mirror, because we want everybody to squeeze it together so we can take a group picture of this, uh, uh, this seminar so we can keep a memory. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, what do you mean? Can I take a picture? Yeah. 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 Yeah.